Good morning, everyone. This is Dr. Aisha Butalia. Our today's topic for the machine learning subject is hypothesis in machine learning. So basically, uh, hypothesis is a common term in ML and data science, where it is one of the powerful technologies across the world, which helps us to predict result based on past experiences. So in our previous lecture, we had discussed about the um, descriptive model and the predictive model. Okay, and in the prediction, we had in the descriptive model, we try to achieve the uh, characteristics and it goes to the supervised learning. Whereas in the predictive model, it is based on the history or the past experiences. Okay, so when we create an hypothesis, this is basically on the predictive results based on the past experiences. So you can write this as notes that hypothesis, it deals with the predictive results based on the past experiences. You create a, a computational formula, okay, or a rule, or maybe you try to identify a pattern. So from where you will identify the pattern from the past experiences and use your computational intelligence to frame a hypothesis or a formula. And based on that formula, that decision will be formed. And using any programming language, using loop, loop and uh, decision-making if then else, okay, conditional statements, you can formulate that hypothesis into an algorithm. So the assumption in machine learning, okay, so what is the assumption that you have to, uh, based on some past experiences, you gather some assumptions, okay, some limitations, okay. So, for example, if you want to use an Ola app and you want a convenient driving, so the assumption is that you have to pay more, okay. So, if you are opting a cab rather than an auto, it is expected that if you want the AC service, so the assumption would be the costing would be more. So this assumption in machine learning is called hypothesis. So you can note this line also in your notes. Then the assumptions in machine learning and what are assumptions? They are basically the prior, the prerequisites or the limitations, okay? What is the meaning of assumption? You can note down. Assumptions means prerequisites or limitations to your uh, aiming is the hypothesis. So hypothesis module model is used interchangeably. So in machine learning, hypothesis and model. Okay. So sometimes, a lot of times, you know, like in last lecture, we discussed about the descriptive model and the predictive model. So models is a way how you frame your machine learning algorithm. Same is the case with hypothesis. So they are interchangeable terms rather. So Moreover, hypothesis is an assumption made by scientists. You can note this definition where model is a mathematical representation. So just now I said that you have to create a formula, okay? And that is used to test the hypothesis. So you use data sets on that hypothesis or the mathematical formula to test whether whatever outcome you want, it is expected the way, okay, you have achieved by your exhaustive approach. Then only we can go towards the uh, heuristic approach and say that, yes, this hypothesis was tested and the heuristic algorithm is finally uh, what you can say positive in approach. So hypothesis in machine learning, uh, again, you can find out this definition. The hypothesis is defined as supposition or proposed explanation based on insufficient evidences or assumptions. So we are uh, calculating based on the past experiences, no doubt, okay? But based on the past experiences also, we have found out certain assumptions. And based on that assumptions, we have got some insufficient evidences. So we, when we create an hypothesis, these insufficient evidences, when we run on the data sets, our hypothesis becomes strong, okay? And it is testable. When we say that a good hypothesis is testable, which results in either true or false. So for example, 
the some scientist claims that ultraviolet rays can damage the eyes then it may cause blindness okay so this is an if then else statement that if you use ultraviolet light it may damage or cause blindness so here why this is a machine learning project because it is not saying that if you use uv you will definitely have blindness there is a may word coming here so whenever there is a may word coming here you need machine learning why because you will have a lot of assumptions what of past history a lot of characteristics then only you can define that yes you have blindness or this uh, situations can create blindness so if answer is yes 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 we know answer is always going to be 4 and if it any other value uh, rather than 4 the answer is no but when the answer is either yes or no maybe then it becomes a soft computing application and basically machine learning moreover is more approachable for soft learning it is not that it is not for hard computing projects but you know the answer is quite accurate but as i said in one of the lectures that the applications of or one of the uh, streams of machine learning is approximate reasoning and approximately reasoning is maybe or maybe approximately two okay it cannot be the exact answer the another example i can give you is that if you have got a parking slot and uh, you have three places when you can park so which will be the optimal solutions because you have got answer as three but ultimately you're going to park at one place right so machine learning will give you the optimal solutions that if you opt this particular option to park second option or third option what are the criteria which is the which is the best fit which is the place where you can come out early which is the place where you know the space is uh, too much so other car can also occupy so better go for another place where it is you know for on the space can be efficiently used and so on so hypothesis is machine learning if you see this diagram okay so as we said that first you will have an unknown target assumptions then you will train your samples using exhaustive approach and using the exhaustive approach you will try to formulate in a mathematical way and using this mathematical way converting it into a heuristic algorithm okay and finally you test that hypothesis when you say that your final hypothesis is ready so there are some common methods given to find out the possible hypothesis and that is represented by uppercase h and the lowercase h so let's have fast what is uppercase uh, sorry hypothesis space uppercase h that is it is defined as set of all possible legal hypothesis hence it is also known as hypothesis set and what is small h it is an approximate function that describes the target in a supervised machine learning mode it is primarily based on data as well as restrictions applied so what is the difference between capital h and small h capital h will give you the best possible hypothesis whereas small h will give you all possible uh, assumptions okay so as i said that if you have got three parking slots so small h will be all three slots whereas the capital h with the most optimal slots because ultimately you want one solution okay if it is an automated car ultimately it will not go and park at three places if you even if you have three options it will go at one place so that capital h will find out out of the three options you know it has got as per the size of the car, uh, the exit and the entry, etc. Okay, so this is one of the uh, example in mathematical form, how you're going to interpret this. So hypothesis can be formulated as y is equal to mx plus b, where y is the range, slope of the line, where divided test or changes of y divided by the change in x. So x is the domain and c is the constant so we know that if you want to draw a line okay so this is the formula and we will have some two points which one it should go by this line or that line so um, there are if some data set by algorithm predict the output for information so if this is a supervised learning okay so you will have an hypothesis h and capital H with a two dimensional co coordinate. Okay, so you will have plus X and minus X as two coordinates. 
for your graph okay and maybe that some points you do not know whether it belongs to the positive or the negative right so what you do is that you create a plane in between that is why we formulate with this line formula and we try to fit in the points which are of this side and that side in last time in ai also we have seen this in svm so super uh, supervised learning mode using super vector machines okay we may see that in later stages but when we draw a line we get classification between the two data sets so if suppose you have taken a data set of male and female probably that plus can be one gender minus can be one gender on which the classification has been made and when you define it with a classifier and line okay every data point which you calculate on this formula will be tested whether it is it is on this side or that side okay and maybe then some question mark which is on this side or maybe this green which has come on that side you have to then adjust it with the algorithm so that means that line formula you have to change or maybe if you have line formula only the c has to be changed okay the intercept or the x has to be changed m the slope will be the same but the b has to be changed so if we change these values the line will be drawn different ways so as per different lines then we will come to a conclusion in the hypothesis where we get a proper uh, classification okay but that we cannot get always very accurately okay so that is why we need to understand different machine learning algorithms bayesian network svm so that okay instead of just drawing a single line this can be a curve so if we draw a curve like this here maybe we will get a proper more classification but yes we will always have an outlier somewhere okay outliers means one or two points may not fit so we need to handle outliers in different type of algorithms so finally we will conclude that the hypothesis is nothing but you have to understand the assumptions okay and formulate it into a mathematical definition and convert that definition into a using some data points as if you see this diagram you know an unknown function target function training samples that we call as data set use the hypothesis space okay h will be all the combinations and you will get an optimal solution as per the graphs when you just try to adjust the values in the formula which you have used okay here that you have to do with exhaustive way no other form manually and then when you get a proper graph then you try to convert it into using the hypothesis formula into the heuristic algorithms okay so we stop this small session on uh, what is hypothesis and how it has to be done okay in the next lecture we will discuss more about how to go about the feature selection okay while considering the hypothesis learning so thank you very much for your patience listening this is dr aisha butalia signing off from this small session